Please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Paranormal Activity 4, Movie Thoughts. So, with this one, I guess we can just conclude, Katie likes snapping necks. That and, you know, throwing people, coming at cameras with, with monster mouth thing, you know, pouncing, that, that kind of thing. I mean, maybe she just got excited. I mean, she heard Ben starting to or trying to, anyway, explain more mythos, and she was like, ah, oh, the producers can't have that, better take care of him. I will say there were some pretty good kills in this, the mother being dropped, not unlike the book. Did anybody else think that was the cat at first? You just, something falls down. And I'm pretty sure I even heard one of the, the people in the theater on the same row as me, literally go, was that the cat? As, yeah, that would have been a very underwhelming reaction by her. Although it would have been pretty funny if she had picked the cat up and just stuck it on a shelf. That's where you belong. I seriously, for the longest time, wasn't even sure that was their freaking cat. It just ran around, just... Basically, the cat was a walking jump scare. It would jump in front of it and rush it, and... I think there were like two times where they even acknowledged it. Did, did Alex maybe at least look at it, maybe even like stroke it or something, and... I think the mother maybe either looked at it or stroked it at the time. Something like that, but yeah. Now, the, the I, I guess also something we can conclude from this is not only are they collecting boys, they're multiplying in number. I mean, when Alex there at the end stumbles upon this, you know, major Radfem gathering, that's, that is not a pretty sight. Now, the... I like the, the bit with the knife. Re returning to the kills, the, the knife with, you know, continuing, she, she's chopping, puts it down, and it goes up. And just, at first you think that it's gonna plop right down on her, and it's just, and like a day passed or something, and then the father is there, and he's looking at him, and he moves away, uh, that was pretty good. That was scary. And I like how she thinks that that's his excuse for not coming back up here. He's he's still mad. That's what it is. That's that's why he's saying that a knife fell out of the ceiling. That's that is how far he'll go, not to just want to you know reconnect. I mean, that's when you know that your marriage is failing. When when. Supernatural phenomena are how far your husband is willing to go. <laughs> and uh, they had, they felt they actually had to explain why Alex was like so asleep that Wyatt could lift her in the air and just, <laughs> yeah. I actually. This is the second franchise I've seen where there's a young kid named Wyatt who has some kind of supernatural thing going on and people are trying to turn him evil. So I don't know if they are like charmed fans in the studios behind these, but 
Yeah, it seemed like maybe at least a nod or something. Now, the... Because, you know, no one actually names the good Wyatt. It was ridiculous. Now, the... Now, that, that little bit that they did at least give us of the expansion of the mythos, having to sacrifice a virgin, basically, to... I, I guess Ben wasn't lying, because it did turn out not to be him. Somewhere, four girls are very unhappy, or, or maybe happy. It could be. Now, having to kill a virgin. I think we've all been there. Basically, I guess that's why they lure her over to the house so that Wyatt can be initiated and that's why he doesn't want to move the... And then that makes decent enough sense and that would explain why there are so many of them there. The... A good sort of... A, a sign of it approaching, of it, of it getting bigger. I mean, not, not just the... The, just the numbers is one thing, but that it really feels like this is, you know, I mean, we saw some of the, we've seen some of the Coven before. I'm going to try not to spoil the other movies for anyone who's, if you're starting with this movie, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Watching a franchise, you're doing it wrong. Starting with the fourth movie. Maybe you just like guesswork. Anyway, yeah, it, it felt like a, a real ritual was, was going to take place. And they lured her over there by having her know that her father was there. Seriously, how did she put that one, piece that one together? It was just kind of, she was in the house, then he was gone, I guess, and she just runs over to, I'm like, why are you running over there? That is the creepiest place to be. That is... I get that you're upset over Ben. But... Uh, yeah, this... And, and apparently he's there. And... Either he's being pulled by his legs. Or she has a force field that pushes him. Because every time she moves a couple of steps, he gets pulled a little further. It was, it was very, like they're, they're, um, it's like, like some animal, just, oh, here we go, here we go, no, no, follow it, follow it, or, or a, a, a pet owner, I guess, and their child, I mean, yeah, it was, I feel like something was cut out there near the end that maybe helped explain that, or maybe I missed something, I don't know. But yes, yeah, so that's the idea, I, and I guess, again, it's some kind of antichrist thing that they're, you know, they, they need a boy child, and I feel like they did a decent job on the, the, the adoption thing with, I did kind of guess that Robbie's not actually Hunter. Why it's going to turn out to be Hunter? It was it was decent enough, and it didn't feel terribly forced with them. Some saying, I, "Oh, he's adopted," but how did she know he was adopted? And then the parents won't talk about. I just don't quite. I feel like the movie should maybe explain why. It, why the weight? That wasn't in the that little brief bit of mythology was. I don't think it was mentioned. Why he needed to be like five or six years old. I don't know. I guess, like I said in uh, the video for the second movie. I don't remember. One of the other thoughts on videos. 
admittedly it is a bit awkward if some kind of toddler thing suddenly happens to this possibly antichrist little boy, but I don't understand why the coven didn't take care of him, say. Now, I did like the sort of him coming back to, I mean, you have the, the, the connect thing with him walking down there, and he's actually standing up to the demon. And it, it is really convenient that the demon is apparently in the TV. That's what parents have been telling us for generations, that TV is a thing of evil. Because that really does position him in the exact right place every time he talks. But yeah, you see the little demon thing move, demon soul thing? It's a soul demon, having arrived on the soul train. And it's sort of trying to be right beside him or something, and that was not nice and creepy. I like the stuff they did with the Kinect. Uh, Dots. Even though it is a bit... It's not that impressive after the oscillating fan, as I said in a review. Now, the... Yeah, so you have the, the kid refusing the demon, and then when he's taking his bath, you know, suddenly he's like being drowned by the demon, and when he comes back up, he's really quiet, and now he does say that his name is Hunter, where, didn't Katie call him Hunter once, excuse me, and he said, that's not my name or something, but yeah, it, it definitely, excuse me, he didn't seem, yeah, there's, there's clearly been a change, and I guess we're supposed to take it as he died, and Hunter went back into him. And I guess Robbie was just their way of gaining entry by... Yeah, that, that makes decent enough sense, that they use the kid rather than Katie or one of the coven. I might not go over quite as well, and, and there's a limit to how aggressive you can be in trying to be hired as a babysitter. Found that out the highway, hard way. Now the... Was there any, were there any kills I didn't cover? I kind of hope that the father just was drug around like that in, in circles. And, and number eights for just until he eventually died of that. That would be really funny. It's good to see that Katie is eating other things than cameras. She started eating a door in this movie. That's good. Get some fiber in your diet. I think that does cover the kills. But yeah, the, the overall plot... I mean, basically just have that apparently Hunter was adopted by this other family, Alex's family, and... I guess just left there so that... Because of her being a virgin, was that? I guess that might be why they're trying to do it now. You know, I mean, Ben was putting on a little something fierce. Yeah, that's why Robbie is suddenly there in the playground because you know he used to be at the the house he lived before. <laughs> yeah, they do at least acknowledge that that's a bit weird. But yeah, the the little. Creep was trying to... I guess Ben was completely right in his initial assessment of Robbie there. Now, the... Yeah, 
the sort of one of the pretty cool things in this movie was the garage scene with just you know suddenly the garage slam shut garage door slam shut and the door to the back to the house slam shut completely by accident of course and the the car engine starts and all the the smoke there or yeah let's go with smoke I don't remember the real word and after a while she you know, collapses coughing and then she gets one of the little golf clubs I guess which we saw them play with earlier and you know, they were putting into that mug and smashes the window opens the car door puts it in gear backs right through the garage door that was yeah I, I actually did think the the thing she said the key isn't even in wasn't even in the car that shouldn't be possible I thought the exact same thing I thought she's not gonna be able to drive she's able to drive it how is that then I mean, if the car was started I guess the demon was polite enough to not stop it. then again I guess if it was Katie doing it and she left yeah that makes decent enough sense now I suppose that more or less covers the whole thing I did like the the fact that we found out that Ben was actually intentionally recording her when she was asleep. You know, the the when when they're talking about if she can set up cameras in all the different laptops. And she I'm glad that it was at least a different explanation, by the way. I'm, I'm not sure if I believe that, I don't know, all of them just laptops, like, I don't know, I guess it happens in modern families, but even the kid, a five or six year old kid, anyway, yeah, in the, in the second movie, yeah, it was, it was already strange, the strange credulity in that movie, and doing that twice would just be ridiculous. Anyway, yes, the crap. Yeah, when when they're talking about it, spying on the whole family with the cameras and the laptops, the fact that he says, "Oh yeah, it's really easy. That's what I." Do. Yes, we can do it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.